Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I am bringing you my From My Heart gift bag. It's a really simple gift bag, um, but it is really pretty. It's using the beautiful, um, <coughs> excuse me, From My Heart DSP. I don't know if you can see, it has these beautiful accented shiny bits. They're just divine. Um, lots of different papers in the pack. In fact, let me just grab the pack and show you. So there are lots of foiled pieces, um, Flirty Flamingo, Real Red and Whisper White, um, but they are just beautiful. So you've got these beautiful large, large hearts that obviously coordinate with the scalloped and the um, basic heart shaped punches, which are the combo with this. So um, heart punch pack, so you get two punches. Um, and as I said, just some beautiful Again, these are the, the shiny DSP, spotted one. This one isn't um, foiled, but it's still still beautiful. Um, the one I've used there. And then this one, again, not foiled. And then on the reverse, which is always hard for me to show you because I have the card, um, a lovely striped one. So again, you don't have to use this for Valentine's or anything like that. It's just a lovely sort of summery striped one. Um, hearts, uh, sorry, arrows rather, stripes, some more hearts, some more arrows and hearts, and I think that's it, oh yes, and then this lovely one here. So yeah, lots of options, this is, as I said, from my heart DSP, absolutely beautiful, um, and I'm going to show you how I make this beautiful little simple gift box. Lovely doilies again, look, and some beautiful faceted gems. So let's show you. So to start off with then, <coughs> oh, excuse me, I seem to have a little tickle. We're starting off with a DSP that is eight by 11 inches. So that's 20 by 27.5 centimeters. On the short side, so if you have a pattern, you need to score your pattern with it facing, running sort of from the right, if you like. So your pattern needs to run this way. And then we're going to score at two inches. And then on the long side, we're going to score at three, five, eight, and 10. So in centimeters then on the short side, you're going to score at five centimeters. And on the long side, we're going to score at 7.5, 12.5, 20 and 20 point, uh, sorry, and 25. So we'll just get that out of the way. You know, it is, it is a basic gift bag, but hey, we have to show off this beautiful DSP, don't we? And most of the sweets, to be honest, because it is just beautiful. So give these a nice fold and I'm just, sort of reimbursing it because for some reason they don't seem to like being scored on this DSP. Not sure why, but it's just sort of has a little a little moment and says, well no, I'm actually not too keen on being folded actually. And it just flop pops back out of its fold. So I'm just sort of making sure that these ends are lined up so that we get that nice lovely score and then the long one oh, I've already done this one getting ahead of myself okay so fold and burnish look at the shine on that isn't it gorgeous okay so I'm going to cut away this bottom corner here because we don't need this with just a little bit of a wedge and then I'm actually going to use my bigger scissors because they're easier and then I'm going to cut all the way up these bottom vertical score lines just to the top there we go and then we just need to um, <laughs> adhere it goodness me I had an absolute moment then couldn't think of the word so yeah just gonna adhere this so again a snail if you want to um, you know me I love my tear and tape I'm just gonna run a bit of it down there and I'm actually going to put my decoration on the front whilst this is flat so I'm going to fold this round like this so this one is going to be the front 
So I'm going to put some adhesive on the bottom of here too. So just across there and another little bit just across the front there. Okay, so I want a lovely doily. So these come in two different colours. So we have some real red and flirty flamingo. And you get 40 of them. I mean, how amazing is that? 40 doilies. And they're white on the reverse as well. So you can always reuse the, if you don't want to use the pink or the red, you can use white. Why not? So I'm going to go with... I think I'm going to go with Flirty Flamingo again on this one. So I'm going to pop those away. As I say, they are simply called heart doilies. Beautiful. So, my heart doily with just a little bit of snail. Oops. It's just going to go on the front there. And I can hear my dog whining again. So that's going to go on there. I'm just going to move that to one side for a moment because I need my Whisper White and I need my beautiful heartfelt stamp set. Absolutely love this. So many wonderful sentiments. Um, love you lots. I just love that. It's so simple. From my heart to yours. Doesn't really matter what we go with, does it? So let's go with this lovely um, outside edge I do apologise, you know, my brain's not working this morning. Of, yeah, the edge of the heart, you know what I mean. I'm going to apologise, I am tired today, so my words are not coming out as they should. So, there's the heart. Outline, that was the word, and now I'm shutting this and I need it, which is ridiculous. And then my sentiment, so going to go with from my heart to yours on this one and again just stamping this and the good thing is it's photopolymer so we can see where we're going with it again right in the centre there and then as I said we have the heart punch pack so we have this simple um, basic heart shape and then I'm just going to grab it we have the scalloped heart too so fabulous shapes. I'm just going to go with the basic heart for this one and I'm just obviously lining it up to punch out. So there's that bit. <clears throat> I want some dimensionals on the back of it. So I'm going to pop those on here. So that I'm just going to stick on there. And then I have this beautiful From My Heart faceted gems. And again, we have some amazing. Is it, is it going to focus? Come on. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful gems. I might just turn that one over. Look at them. Aren't they gorgeous? And they're so shiny. Look at them. Shiny and glittering. So I'm going to use my putty end of my take your pick. A couple of glue dots. And then I'm going to go with a beautiful pink one. So stick that on there. And then that can go on there. And then I'm going to use a white one, which I'm just going to pop on there. And then that one can go just underneath. So we'll shut those up. And that actually is all my decoration is, as simple as that. So let's take the backing off here. And then we can seal this gorgeous bag up so that's that bit done 
and then as we do with the bottoms fold those side bits then the back and then this front piece just goes last oops there we go I'm just going to make sure it all sits square as I close this up there we go and then again I'm just going to get my hand in and just press that tear and tape down and then I'm just pinching these pieces together to hold that bag like it is and then I've got a couple of mini pegs here that I'm just going to use to hold the bag closed for me because then I'm coming in with this beautiful real red double stitched satin ribbon as you can see again wait for it to focus there we go look at that beautiful stitched oh my goodness so all I want is actually a length to go around it so I'm not tying it I'm not doing anything with it it simply is a length that goes like that so give that a little trim and then good old whisper white baker's twine just a length of that and I'm actually now going to bring in another little peg to hold my ribbon tight and together but I'm putting it just slightly away from the bag if you can see because then I'm going to come in with my baker's twine here and tie this up as well so I'm actually just going to tie this in a simple knot and I'm pulling it tight to pull the ribbon together but I'm not so bothered if it sort of releases slightly because I don't need it to hold that strong there we go take all those pegs off push that down and there we have the ribbon in place and then I'm just going to trim my baker's twine I'm happy with my ribbon but I don't know if you noticed on this one it's got a bit of a curl going on whereas this one's just sticking out sideways and the easiest way I did with that was I got my paper snips I kept them closed and then I just took one strand of the ribbon and just curled it just like that and it just gives it a bit more character as opposed to it just sticking out like an awkward piece of hair <laughs> and there you have it there are your gift bags but I did forget actually that when I did this I'm just going to slide this off I forgot to put my sweeties inside so my husband loves these jelly sweets any sorts so this will be two goodie bags I guess for him for Christmas and as you can see you just need to pinch the bag together and you can then she said famous last words slide this back on it's now curling a different way but that doesn't matter I've put the bag thing on the ribbon on upside down but it doesn't matter because it still does what I wanted it to and there you have it my from my heart gift bags hope you like them hope to see you all again soon and don't forget you can buy all these at the store just in the little link below see you all again soon bye